It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. Hey, have you seen your doctor this year? If you did, there's a very good chance they did a blood test. Ouch! A poke in the arm. The needle goes in, and my blood flows out to the tubes. But my new smartwatch is going to measure my blood sugar. Will this mean I don't have to get jabbed anymore? We all know that blood sugar is done to diagnose and treat diabetes. But what about a low thyroid? Low red blood cells like anemia? Will watches prevent me from getting jabbed? What about the tricorder used by Leonard McCoy, sometimes called Bones, in that famous series Star Trek? No poke was needed to diagnose your ailment. So Stanford and Duke University collaborated on a 50-patient research study. Could the data they collected collaborate to give us an idea what a blood test result might look like? Let's have a look at the study. I'm going to go over that with you now and see what they found. Smartwatches have been credited with saving lives in several states, but researchers from Duke University and Stanford University School of Medicine have shown that they can also predict the outcome of blood tests. Wearable data on heart rate, body temperature, and daily activity can be used to identify early indicators of some illness, as well as forecast the outcome of clinical blood tests your doctor requests during annual physicals or other appointments, according to the researchers, thanks in part to machine learning. Smartwatches can detect changes in your red blood cell count, dehydration, anemia, and even some illness, according to the study, which was published in Nature magazine. Simply put, the study's purpose was to investigate how changes in in-person blood tests compared to long-term continuous data obtained by smartwatches. The researchers used an Intel-based smartwatch to track 54 patients for more than three years, measuring heart rate, step count, skin temperature, and electrodermal activity. The latter is the same metric used by the Fitbit Sense to measure minute electrical changes in your perspiration. Regular clinical visits were also conducted to collect data on heart rate, red and white blood cell count, blood oxygen levels, glucose levels, and other indications using traditional methods, for example, heart rate monitors and blood tests. According to the finding, some combinations of wearable measurements may be able to provide insight into specific blood tests. For example, researchers discovered that a patient's low electrodermal output or lack of sweat indicated that he or she was consistently dehydrated. They also discovered that prolonged increases in body temperature when combined with a decrease in movement signaled illness, a finding that was backed up by higher white blood cell count in blood tests. Variations in heart rate have been found to predict blood oxygen changes. Lower exercise was also associated with anemia when combined with a greater heart rate. However, the researchers noticed that there were certain restrictions while wearables can capture a lot of information, a lot of it isn't exact enough to forecast the number of red and white blood cells. Heart rate, body temperature, physical activity, and oxygen levels are also insufficient to precisely detect the ailment you may be suffering from. Nonetheless, these are remarkable results with far-reaching ramifications. While further research is needed, there is a strong possibility that long-term wearable data could aid clinicians in deciding therapy in emergency scenarios. Instead of waiting for lab tests in an emergency room, a doctor might hypothetically supplement that testing 
with your longitudinal data to try and figure out what's going on. At that moment, few of us have access to such information. The issue with existing in-person clinical blood tests is that you must be obtained in person, which can be invasive. Additionally, these tests only provide you a snapshot of your health, specifically your health on the way to your doctor's office. Random things like when you ate last or if someone stressed you out on the way to the doctor can affect your results. In a statement, Jesslyn Dunn, assistant professor of biomedical engineering at Duke, stated, there is a circadian swing in heart rate and body temperature, but these single measurements in clinics don't capture that natural fluctuation. However, gadgets such as smartwatches and Fitbits can track these measurements and natural changes over time and determine when there is a deviation from the natural baseline. Scientists and researchers are well aware of this wearable advantage. Several experiments were launched during the pandemic to explore if smartwatches could identify cases of COVID-19. Although the results of those researches are still being compiled, there is reason to assume that wearables could play a role in determining how to deal with future pandemics. Beyond FDA-cleared ECGs, and abnormal heart rate alarms, we're also seeing firms like Apple, Samsung, and Fitbit go into sophisticated health features. Apple and Samsung, for example, are said to be working on non-invasive ways to test blood glucose levels for their next generation of smartwatches. Fitbit has also made little attempt to hide the fact that the company has been working on a solution to diagnose sleep apnea for years. There are still significant obstacles to overcome before somebody can diagnose themselves by looking at their wrist. More clinical research is needed and sophisticated features that will need FDA approval before they can be used by the general public. Furthermore, medical experts are still finding out what to do if a patient shows up for an appointment and presents them a PDF with random data. Wearables will never be able to take the position of a doctor or other medical expert. Nonetheless, research like this holds a lot of promise. In a press release, research co-author Michael Snyder, chair and professor of genetics at Stanford University of Medicine, said, I think this is only the beginning. Devices are getting more sensitive and capable than ever before. People will be better equipped to grasp what is going on with their own health in real time as technology advances just by wearing their wearable devices. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it? So will smartwatches prevent you from getting jabbed? Well, in the short term, your blood sugar for sure. But for other tests, hmm, it's going to be a little while and a lot more research. Will all the data that we're collecting on these smartwatches be valuable to your medical professional? Well, probably. Again, further research needs to be done. But we are getting so close. Let's look at two articles I reviewed last week. Engineers at Purdue University have developed a method for converting existing cloth items into battery-free, machine-washable wearables. These smart garments are wirelessly charged via flexible silk-based coil sewn into the fabric. In the not-too-distant future, all of our clothing will be intelligent. These smart garments will outperform passive garments due to their miniaturized electronic circuits and sensors, which will enable you to communicate seamlessly with your phone, your computer, car, and other machines. This intelligent clothing will not only increase your productivity, but will also monitor your health status and even call for assistance if you are involved in an accident. The reason that this is smart clothing is not yet ubiquitous in your closet is that its fabric is quite challenging, as clothes must be washed on a regular basis and electronics despise water. Purdue engineers have developed a new spray sewing technique 
for converting any conventional cloth into battery-free wearables that can be washed. The technology industry has consistently improved its foldable displays over the last few years, resulting in a plethora of durable options for smartphone and tablet users. Naturally, the next step would be to create a screen that is not only flexible, but also stretchable, which Samsung has recently accomplished. According to a press release from the Samsung Advanced Institute of Technology, or SAIT, a team of researchers has developed a new stretchable electronic skin that can be stretched up to 30% without comprising the integrity of the components. It even includes a built-in heart rate monitor that displays your heart rate directly on the OLED display. Now you know the routine. You know the click the like and subscribe to the channel. Please do that for us. It really helps us make these videos and keep you updated on medical technology. Till we see you again, Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors.